Hi, I'm Dami from e Learning Channel Museum. Today, in one point lesson, we're going to learn Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. We're not going to learn the whole entire song with the most famous phrase. We're going to learn one of the most important techniques. This one point lesson is designed to learn one point at once. So we're not going to cover whole entire song, but we will pick it up short segment of the song and we'll play. If you want to learn whole entire song, then let me know. I will see how many people are requesting and we'll make another lesson tutorial. In this video, we're going to play one of the most famous phrase, which Fred Mercury always played in his concert. <laughs> tips to play the song is crossing hand technique as you have seen at this one we're crossing over do you see the left hand crossing over the right hand when do we use this crossing hand over technique normally we use crossing hand technique when we have to bring it out the melody line clear it's just like we want to bring it out this G and F top high then instead of playing make same sound but the difference between we're closing hand and just play it as it is the sound quality actually when we cross it over it's connect smoother out more brighter than we just play it as it is so we use this cross hand technique when we want to bring it out melody line clearer than other hand now I'm going to tell you how to play the crossing hand technique well first of all when you cross over your hand you have to make sure that your crossing hand has to be higher than the other one just like this now my left hand will cross over the right hand then my left hand has to be higher so that it can go over the right hand see see I'm going high and stay high just like my wrist is do you see how it is almost like this shape not flat normally we supposed to play piano flat wrist but in here make sure your wrist is curved so that you can hit it clear instead of if you play a low wrist then it will make flat sound now we will go over note by note the first phrase first one left hand starts on the b flat and right hand is also b flat chord but in inversion so f b flat d breaking up one and two and and after that your left hand cross over the right hand and play a G and play F, F, F. That's the first chord. And then the first chord is repeated three times. So it will be one and two and cross it over high. One and F, F. And then the next chord is left hand G minor and right hand plays the G minor too. So it's going to be G, B, D. So breaking up D, G, B flat, D, and then left hand cross it over to A octave, but play it wrist high. One, G, G, G. Got it? It's the same pattern, right? And then the next chord is C left hand, right hand, C minor chord, 
but move this G to down here. So G, C, E flat with fingering one, two, four. So you're breaking up like this. C, G, C, E flat. Left hand cross it over to D, high here. D, and then right hand place C, C, C. Got it? And then the next one is again one at a time E flat G C E and left hand goes to F and right hand plays C F A C which is F chord and then the next one is the first chord comes back again and then the second chord pattern which is G and G B flat D and then C minor and right hand is also C minor chord and then the right hand is E flat and B natural and left hand plays the B natural too so there's three notes one G and then slide down to B flat so the three notes are B flat and E flat is there G after that the next note is F C F right hand and left to A and then one note at a time and then A flat and then right hand plays the A flat too and then slide it down to G so up to here the same pattern repeats back over and over again so make sure that when you cross it over you have to make your wrist high got it and also it's showy too I hope you enjoyed playing this song. And next one point lesson, I'm going to teach you another famous Queen's music. I love that one better. Love of my life. play arpeggio which it sounds like harp. there is technique for the arpeggio so i will see you next week bye